Hey everyone, and welcome back to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. My name is Connor. In this video, we'll be going over Treble Swap, which is the first version for decentralized exchange officially live as of today on the base network. I'll be showing you how to use Treble, how to swap on it, how to provide liquidity to liquidity pools, and all the other features available at this current moment in time. Let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are on the TrebleSwap.com website. And this is the main website that I've shown in previous videos. And I'm not gonna go over this, okay? The only thing you need to know is if you wanna go over the documents on your own, click on white paper up here, but you're gonna wanna launch the application, okay? Let's go to the actual decentralized exchange that launched today, hit launch app, and it will take you right there. All right, and this is the TrebleSwap exchange. Now, before we get into this step-by-step -step tutorial, let's just go over some details around Treble right now. So definitely follow them on X or Twitter so that you stay up to date. I would also recommend to join the Treble Swap Telegram channel, okay? All of the, the tweets and announcements are in both the Telegram as well as the X account, okay? They also have a community Telegram where you can go and ask the team questions directly if you have questions, that would be the best place to go to get direct access to the team. All right, you know it's official in the official Treble Swap Telegram group. Anyways, you can see here, six hours ago, they actually tweeted out that there's an airdrop campaign ongoing. So you can qualify by providing liquidity and trading in the Treb USDC pool. So I will show you how to do that. So hopefully we can qualify for the airdrop. So let's go back to Treble Swap now. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is connect your wallet. So in the top right corner of the screen, you're going to want to hit connect and then select the wallet you're, you're using, okay? So you can use MetaMask wallet, Coinbase wallet. I'm using Rabi wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect here. And as you can see, I am connected to the exchange. All right, now that we're connected to the exchange, we can swap and we can use everything we wanna do. This has cross-chain swaps already integrated. So over here, if you wanna to go to cross-chain swap, just click on it. And this is going to allow you to send in, if you have money not on the base network, but let's say on the Ethereum mainnet, you can click here, search ETH, click on the ETH mainnet. Uh, we wanna switch the chain to Ethereum. Okay, you can go to the Ethereum mainnet and then you can send it to the receiving chain as base and you can cross-chain swap right here, okay? Very similar to other cross-chain swaps like say Rocket X or Squid Router. It works seamlessly and this is great to have on day one, okay? So if you need to get money onto base from a different network, you can do it right here on Treble Swap with the cross-chain swap feature. Once you do have your funds on base, what you're gonna wanna do is if you wanna buy Treble, there's only three tokens listed available on the Treble Swap Exchange right now. There's Ethereum on base, USDC on base, and Treble Swap on base. All right, so if you want to buy Treble, select it in the bottom column here, and in the top column, select the cryptocurrency you want to use to swap for your Treble. So let's say you want to buy some with USDC. Uh, let's say you want to buy 100 bucks. You can go ahead and do that. And you will hit Approve USDC so that you can swap it. Sign that confirmation and you will get a message that it was confirmed here in green and now we will be able to swap and we can hit swap and you can see there is a fee of 1.7955 percent all right everything is listed here if you want to click the drop down arrow you can see all of the details around the swap right here all right so that is how you actually go ahead and you use the swap that's how you use the decentralized exchange Okay, I don't know how many transactions you're gonna to need to qualify for the airdrop, but I would probably do like three to five transactions. And ideally that's gonna quali qualify you for the airdrop campaign happening right now. I don't know how much the airdrop is gonna be. I, I'm not sure it's gonna be a high amount at all. So don't get your hopes up for some kind of crazy big airdrop, but maybe it will be, I really don't know. But you will need to swap to qualify. So that's how you go ahead and swap and cross chain swap. Important to know that. So. I will also go over right now, if you invested in the public IDO, you can claim your tokens by going to the launchpad section all the way on the right, and you will be able to connect your wallet here and claim the tokens right here. You're, you would hit connect. It looks like I'm not connected to the launchpad. We'll go do that. 
But if you did contribute, you can hit claim right here and you'll get your tokens that you um, bought in the public IDO. And now in 29 days and 14 hours, the vesting will start, meaning that basically you can claim today um, and then the majority of the tokens are vested for one month and then they'll be released linearly on a daily basis, okay? So you'll get a small drip every day, basically. If you're one of the 630 contributors who did this, this is how you claim. All right, so important to know that. Now, right now, you cannot stake or farm just yet. This just went live today. So these features are not yet live. If you do want to use Xtreb, you can go up here to the Xtreb section and you can convert them here directly into Xtreb. And this is going to allow you to get into exclusive farming pools as well as the launch pad uh, when that does go live. So it's totally up to you if you want to convert your treble swap tokens to Xtreb. Just remember, to redeem it back to treble and be liquid, it's a 30-day lockup. It's a 30-day period. All right, and if you want to make it shorter, you're going to take a huge haircut of 75%. I went over this in my last treble swap video. So it's totally up to you if you want to use Xtreb. If you want to use this ecosystem and be a part of it, well, then Xtreb is good. If you just want to speculate on the token price, you're going to want to stay in treble, not Xtreb. So now let's go into the pools and providing liquidity to these pools. And let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So currently there are three pools live. There's the ETH treble pool, there's the ETH USDC pool, and there's the USDC treble pool. Now these are subject to impermanent loss. How does impermanent loss work? So the biggest pool right now here, as you can see, is the USDC treble pool. How does it work here with impermanent loss? Well, USDC is a stable coin, so it stays at $1. Treble is going to move in value. Here's the chart. Uh, the chart is currently listed on define.fi. It's not on Dex Screener yet because it is its own exchange. And once it gets integrated into Dex Screener, you're going to be able to search it there. But I'll leave this link in the description down below if you want to check out the chart uh, for treble. It's currently $0.19. Cents. And for reference, the public IDO price was $0.10. Cents, okay, so anyways... Nobody really knows about this thing yet. It's so early. So I think it has legs and I really think these are going to be crazy prices in the future. Looking back. But anyways, back to the pools. So let's say the price of treble goes up and it's paired with USDC, which stays at $1. What does that mean with impermanent loss? As the price of treble goes up, it means that you're going to end up with a lot more USDC. Okay. If the price of treble goes down, it means you're going to end up with more treble and less USDC. Now for the ETH TREB pool, because both of these tokens are moving in value, you're going to want them both to move at a similar rate. So you're going to want both to go up at the same time if you don't want a permanent loss. But let's say, for example, treble swap goes up in price and Ethereum goes down in price, you're going to end up with a lot more of Ethereum. Okay, you're basically going to lose more of the asset that's appreciating and you're going to get more of the asset that's depreciating. That's how impermanent loss works. Do more research on your own if you want to understand impermanent loss better. That's just an overview. Um, but yeah, that's the, the gist of it. That's how it works. So let's say you want to deposit into the USDC treble pool. Click on it and it says create a position. So what you're going to want to do now, it looks like I don't actually have enough USDC. So let's go actually into the ETH treble pool. Now what you're going to want to do, um, let's use the maximum amount of treble we have, which is 499. But what you're going to want to do is select the range. Now this is the current price. So for one Ethereum, you get 16,630 treble tokens. That's the current price. In order to get rewards from providing liquidity, you must provide liquidity within a certain range. If price is out of your range, you will not get any rewards. Okay, so you can either have it sit there and wait for price to come back into your range, or you can pull the liquidity and make a new position with a new range established so that you earn rewards. This is an active thing, it's not passive, keep that in mind. But you can use these options up here. So the common range would be 14,936 to 19,921. So that's a minus 3% and a plus 6%. Okay, so that's a common range. You can do a more narrow range. You can do a wide range. It's really up to you. Um, so for example's sake, we're just going to select the common range here. All right. You can put in your own numbers if you want to you know, do your own math and figure out which um, minimum and maximum prices you want to do. Right. This is all up to however you want to do it. But for example's sake, we're just going to select the common range. 
Now that gives us a token ratio of 66% Ethereum and 34% treble. So if we wanted to even this out more, you know, we can basically say we want to put a lower minimum price. So if we were to do that, as you can see, um, it changes the token ratio. Totally up to you how you want to go about and do it. So for the wide range, looks like it's all a bit skewed. Uh, but nonetheless, this is the token ratio and you can change the range to how you want it. All right, so for this example, 499 treble tokens in current value, that is $99, okay? So I would recommend if you wanna qualify for the airdrop, you should probably put in at least like $100 total in a position. So that would be like 250 treble in the equal amount in Ethereum, which is 0 0.25. That's around $100 total. That's probably gonna be enough to qualify for the airdrop. So for this example, let's say we wanna put in 300 treble swap tokens. That's gonna to come out to this amount in Ethereum. And all we need to do now is approve the TREB. So the estimated position APR is 53% currently with this. Um, but anyways, this is your, how you provide liquidity. And you can go ahead and sign the message, create the transaction. And now you want to create the position. We just approved. Now we're actually creating the position and we'll hit confirm. Okay. There you go. Now you can see over here in the overview section under pools, the one position is $157 of value. You can see the range and you can see the status that it is currently in range, meaning you will get rewards. If this goes out of range, you'll stop earning rewards. So again, you can either close the position and create a new one or just wait until it comes back into range so you start earning rewards again. I'll be making more updates as more features go live with Treble. It is still day one. And as you can see, they have already crossed 750K in total value locked, or sorry, that's total volume. I'm not sure what the TVL is right now, but looking on DeFi Llama on all of the base DeFi projects, I really do see this moving quite hard into like the top 15, top 10 DeFi protocols on base with total value locked. Keep an eye on this one, guys. I think it is going to crush it on base, but it's day one right now. It is extremely early and we'll see how everything develops. This was just a quick tutorial going over the launch of Treble Swap and how to use it. So in this video, we talked about Treble Swap with the launch happening just today, Monday, January 20th. We talked about how to use the swap feature as well as how to provide liquidity into the pools and some other good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing the like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire, and I'll see you in the next video.